Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate hedges G for one sample using SPSS. If you have version 27 or higher, you, you can actually calculate or let SPSS calculate this directly for you. I have a separate video on that. If you have an earlier version, we will use uh, a second data file where we simply do the calculation. Um, you will also need to have cones D, so if you've not seen that video yet, uh, I have a separate video on how to calculate cones D. Um, besides the values we copied there, you will also need the sample size. So I'm using age as an example, and to determine the sample size, what I can do is analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, uh, select a variable of interest, and uh, simply select OK and in my output I'm not sure why it's not showing oh, because I had something else open sorry about that uh, in my output I now see that there were 1969 cases I double click on this uh, right click copy and I go to my second data file just an empty one uh, that I made also for Cohen's D so that's why it's in there you see a mean standard deviation etc um, but the only ones that are of interest for today are the Cohen's D and now also my sample size goes in here and paste and that's that 1969 now to calculate hedges G we need to multiply this D with a specific value and that's a complicated calculation so to help a little bit with that I'm gonna add two more variables uh, transform compute variable this was how I calculated Cohen's D, so I'm going to reset this. I'm going to determine the degrees of freedom, which is simply going to be the sample size minus 1. So you see here now it says N minus 1. Click on OK, so it added my degrees of freedom. Another thing I will need is the, I call it M, compute variable, which is simply going to be the let's delete all of this you can also just do a reset um, M and then it's going to be that degrees of freedom divided by 2 okay now for the big one hedges G can actually be calculated then using the following formula so again transform compute variable uh, reset uh, let's call it G and it's going to be my Cohen's D because hedges G is just an um, adjustment for Cohen's D multiplied with and then we need a few functions um, the first one is the exponential and then we're going to do the logarithm gamma uh, which can actually be found because oddly enough I couldn't find a function that actually does the gamma function but luckily there is a logarithm gamma function ln gamma and it's going to be the ln gamma of that m but that's not all uh, and just before the last parentheses uh, we're going to subtract 0 0.5 times uh, the again the normal logarithm of m and we're going to subtract again that logarithm gamma of m but now minus 0 0.5 and that should give us then hedges uh, g all right and there it is there is my hedges g it's a slight adjustment so minus 0 0.102097 uh, from as you can see the uh, Cohen's d Right, and that's how you can use SPSS more or less like a calculator to actually calculate hedges uh, G. Alright, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. 